And so long story short, I am teaching next year. I'm not, I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm not giving up. Trust me, they don't want to know. I could go full beast mode. You really need some help. I really know myself. My happiness is sacred and I stay on that pursuit. Yeah, that's me. Just me. It's me. That's all I be. That's what I am. That's what I am. Not noticed in the in the past month or so, the amount of teaching material that I've put on on this channel has kind of dropped off. And it and a couple weeks back, I think it was a week or two back, I did a video, two videos. One was called "My Last Year of Teaching?" question mark, and then the next one following that was "My Huge Decision." And basically, I was talking about my frustrations and struggles with teaching. And then I also talked about you know, Kristen and I are having our first child in May, and I talked about like. Um, what would it be like to be a stay-at-home dad and, and I was just weighing my options and I was talking about staying at home and working from home and this and that and the other thing. And this weekend for me, I live in the United States, uh, was Thanksgiving weekend, so I had a break. And over this break, I had, I had a lot of time to reflect um, and talk with family members and really just have time to think. And a conclusion, I almost had like an epiphany yesterday. And it was like, I was experiencing extreme, extreme um, burnout. And uh, it was just the burnout to the point where I was like, I just don't wanna do it anymore. Do I, like, I, I just, I don't, don't, and I'm not happy, I'm not wanting to do it anymore. And that's what I was experiencing. But realizing that that's what I was experiencing, I can deal with burnout. And so long story short, I am teaching next year. I'm not, I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm not giving up. I, I really do still have a passion for educating children. And, and that's what I had to remind myself. I'm going to go back to a colleague of mine, a good a, a YouTube friend of mine, Real Rap with Reynolds. He, his, one of his quotes is, is, it's only always about the kids. And reminding myself why I got into teaching in the first place was for the kids. And my channel, a lot of the videos I do focus on work-life balance and how to have a life outside of the classroom and um, how to manage my own personal uh, health and my mental health as a teacher and, and try to give tips for other teachers on how to uh, manage their mental health and not get burnout. And, um, you know, when you shift to one side too much, right? Like I was thinking too much about my own mental health and, and nothing wrong with that, but reminding myself of why I went into teaching. And teaching is a selfless profession. It's a profession where you go in day in and day out and you give it your all to help somebody else, to help the kids. And, and that's, that's what I want to do. I, I do still want to do that and I still love doing that. And it, it gets frustrating at times. And the reason why I was experiencing extreme burnout is every single, like, I put my heart and soul into my teaching every single day. Every single day going into work, trying new things, and failing over and over and over again with extreme behaviors and, and disrespectful attitudes and um, trying all these tips that I have given to you all in my teaching tip videos and they're not working. And everything that I've ever taught, everything that I've ever taught other teachers or everything that I've ever learned from other teachers or in my, in my grad, graduate classes, nothing was working. Like, I was so frustrating. And um, it was, it was just hard. And, you know, teaching isn't always glamorous. And uh, it was just, it was just hard. It was hard going into work every single day and leaving feeling defeated. And that, I, you know, I think I just needed a break. And my break was this nice, long Thanksgiving break. And also a break from, like, I had to truly let myself think and believe. Uh, all right, what? I'm not gonna teach anymore. I had to. I had to let myself feel what it would be like, and if in the horizon after the school year I wasn't going back to teach, and it scared me because I was like, wow, like, I'll lose. Like I was thinking, like I'll lose. All, I'll lose all my like routine and stability of like having like going to a job every day and and having something to do that's meaningful, and the unknown and and all these things with having a first child and. You know, I would lose my health insurance and all these things I wasn't thinking about. Um, and it's not just about that stuff. That's, 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 that's just about, that's like job stuff. But I, 
I have to keep teaching. It's what I, it's what I was called to do. So I am coming back next year. I am I'm not throwing the towel. I'm not giving up on, on, on my students, on the students of my community that I teach in. They need me now more than ever. And, uh, you know, I teach in a district where, you know what? Our data is what it is. We're a failing school district. We're failing. All of our scores are failing, failing, failing on the state tests. And we have to own that. And there are things that are outside of our control that we cannot control, but there are things that we can control. And they need, they need me, they need all of the teachers in their district to figure it out and band together. And it's bigger than just the teaching that goes on in the school. It's the parenting. They have to step up and do what's right. It's the community at large. It's all, the whole community has to come together and um, I need to be a part of this. So I am coming back. And it, because of that, my break is over from YouTube teaching stuff too. I'm bringing back Tuesday teaching tips. I'm bringing back a week in the life of a teacher where I, where I talk about my week and I take it to my classroom and I dive into that. I, I am, I'm back. I'm back. So, um, I, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I'm coming back. I got my fire relit in my belly. I'm ready to go. I, um, I just, I needed, to, I needed a break. And I think, I think that's what, that was what I really truly needed. I'm ready to get back at it and uh, mold minds and change lives. But not just that, like offer my, my advice and my tips to you as well. I know there's so many of you that have been missing the teaching tips and teaching stuff. And so I'm coming back with it strong. And yeah, I, I, wanna, I wanna continue working on that. So if, if, with that being said, um, if there's anything that you want to know specifically, any tips that, that you've been wanting to know from me, drop them in the comments down below. Uh, I'll be, like I said, I'm going to bring back my Tuesday teaching tip videos. Um, and then on Thursday, I want to be, be doing my Annoying Things Students Do video with, with Nick, Mr. P. And then my, uh, my Weekend Life of a Teacher video as well. So um, if there's anything specific you want to know in a future teaching tip video or, or something, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Find your gift. Share it with the world and remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow.